This is an LG 77C1 4K OLED TV. It's roughly 68 inches wide and 39 inches tall, good for a 77 inch diagonal form factor. Now you might be wondering what the heck I'm doing with one. Well, we've partnered with LG to showcase its exceptional gaming characteristics among other things. Yes, gaming on this TV. See, most conventional televisions out there, and I'm putting conventional in quotes because they're not OLED TVs, are actually quite bad for gaming of, of really any kind, to be honest. Input lag, ghosting, refresh rates, they're just not built for intensive PC gaming and the latest consoles. And that's where LG's razor thin OLED offerings step in. Models like this C1 not only employ the latest self-lit pixels for true blacks and excellent color, but they also factor in features like Motion Pro, which reduces motion blur, and G-Sync as well as free sync for ultra smooth experiences in game. You know a TV takes PC gaming seriously when it's packing both G-Sync and free sync. LG also includes a game optimizer panel in the C1's menu, good for calibrating picture and varying levels of acceptable motion blur and sound. You can optimize for the specific game you're playing and set up defaults for different HDMI connections at the back of the TV, so you won't need to manually change picture profiles every time you switch between, say, PC gaming and Netflix. It's within the game optimizer panel that you can also enable G-Sync and FreeSync. G-Sync in our case was enabled by default, but FreeSync was not, so be sure to enable it if you're running a compatible AMD graphics card. Now a bit more on the compatibility between LG OLED TVs like this one and the latest graphics card offerings from both Team Green and Team red. See, for quite a while, no consumer grade card on the market was capable of fully utilizing a 4K 120Hz OLED TV, and the reason was always HDMI. See, these LG OLEDs have been repping HDMI 2.1 for a few years, but only recently have graphics cards implemented native HDMI 2.1 ports, so both Ampere and RDNA 2 should finally be good to go. Whereas before, even with something as late as Turing architecture, you need to use some sketchy DisplayPort 1.4 to HDMI 2.1 adapter, and what few of those exist in the wild appear to be rather inconsistent. So, being able to take advantage of a graphics card's native HDMI 2.1 port and connect it via ultra high speed HDMI my cable directly to the TV. That there is something special. It's plug and play, no BS, it just works. And that is so nice because now we don't need to either reduce the resolution of the TV in order to experience the TV's high refresh rate or reduce the high refresh rate of this unit in order to experience true 4K. We get both now, and that makes these C1 models great for modern gaming. And that's why I built this small yet powerful gaming PC for the entertainment setup in our living room. It includes an AMD Radeon RX 6800, which boasts the HDMI 2.1 port we will need for full 4K 120Hz immersion. And I'll be sure to try out a few different games to demonstrate the C1's advantages over vanilla LED backlit counterparts. The first game we'll try is GTA 5, which encompasses both slow and fast paced scenes depending on what you're doing. With the right combo of in-game settings, we're sitting comfortably above 100 FPS, which again, doesn't go to waste here because the 77C1 has a true 120 Hertz refresh rate. None of that TV marketing jargon you've probably seen elsewhere that attempts to make 60 Hertz seem like something that it's not. You'll see all 120 frames per second here, and wow, does it look good on such a big and vibrant screen. There's something so satisfying about relaxing on your couch, feet propped up, and vibing to some GTA on the big screen with such a fluid and rich picture. And considering how far back I'm sitting here in our living room, let's be honest, this is not very big at all, I'd say the 77 inch form factor is perfect for immersion of this type. And another important note here, another advantage of OLED technology is exceptional viewing angles, meaning friends and family won't see war color distorted images if they happen to be sitting far off to the right or left. Let's move on to a different game, say Call of Duty Warzone. Pretty popular first person shooters were always the Achilles heel though of modern televisions, but the introduction of OLEDs from LG erase any trace of serious input lag, which would otherwise put us at a disadvantage in a game like this. Our reactions need to be as quick as our opponents, so it's important that the TV keep up and react as quickly as our hands do, whether it be with mouse and keyboard or controller. And you can see here just how responsive the 77C1 is when in game mode. Virtually no delay and super crisp video at the same time. We have a one millisecond response time in fact, so you shouldn't notice any serious ghosting either when quickly pivoting left or right. 
Honestly, Call of Duty is where I expected this experience to diminish a bit. It's never as ideal sitting so far back from your screen. But again, since this C1 is so large in a living room of this size, I think it is the perfect form factor. I don't find myself wishing I was any closer to the screen, which is typically what I do with my 27 inch monitors. I lean in a bit more. This TV feels so immersive and it's amplified by excellent color, right? You have insane contrast ratios and superb response time. All that mixed together is just such a great experience in the living room. So let's test out one additional game then, Dirt 5. Racing games have always looked pretty good on big screens, but never this good. See, when your car is moving at a high rate of speed like this, these areas around the subject tend to be a bit of a blur. They're just moving so fast, right? But high refresh rates reel these images back in, making them much clearer for the driver and adding an extra layer of fluidity and immersion to a rather stagnant perspective. And in this scenario, as much as the last, having minimal input lag is vital for accurate braking points and turn-ins. Simply put, LG's latest OLED offerings are perfect for arcade and simulator style racing if that's your jam. Now I want to take a minute to thank LG for giving us a chance to feature one of their prominent OLED TVs on this channel. I'd seen many takes on gaming with TVs in the past on YouTube, but when LG reached out about a gamer's take specifically on their OLED TV technology, I could not resist. I think this is one of the best in class TVs out there. I really do. It's why I agreed to work with them. There's a reason so much technology is packed inside one of these and it makes PC gaming a straight up joy. Finally, something that brings me back to the living room for gaming. Like I'm no longer sectioned off in my office, secluded from my wife and kids. I can just sit on the couch with my little one, even though his controller is turned off because he has no idea what he's doing yet. And, and just enjoy playing modern games in ultra crisp 4K at frame rates much higher than the typical 30 or 60. So if the 77C1 seems like something you'd be interested in, be sure to click the top link in this video description. They offer various sizes of the C1 as well. So you aren't just, you know, locked in into one budget and one form factor. And remember that despite our gaming centric focus in this particular video, OLEDs still have plenty of advantages over traditional backlit units when it comes to you know, the typical movie and cable viewing as well. It's just nice to know that LG's OLEDs are very good at multiple things. And that I think is one of the biggest selling points here. That's all for this one. Be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Greg. Thanks for learning with me.